previously on the gates. What us? What are you? You call us werewolves. Well, I did. I did to save your life. Yeah. And I'm grateful. Andy, this medication is the only way to keep yourself and the people you care about safe. Brett! How did you do that? We regenerate faster than humans. I want to give this ring to you. Christian, I can't accept that. Have you thought about what Dylan might say? <laughs> When Dylan finds out, he won't want you. Who did this? Christian. Scott. Hey, Nick. How's the world treating you? Good, good. Appreciate you sticking around after closing. Well, not a problem. Come on in. So what can I do for you? I need to take a look at your video surveillance tapes for the past 24 hours. Is there a problem? Mm, I got a missing person in Franklin. I need to take a look. Yeah, okay. Can you give me a minute? I need to turn the system off and change out power drafts. Sure. Take your time. Be right back. sweetie i am all right let me get this straight you're going on a field trip with your school and you don't know one of the parents names that are chaperoning you no why not i'm 12 i think you should stay home dad what's going on over here dad's being weird he said i can't go on my field trip because i don't know which parents are coming with us yeah next stop traumatizing your daughter look i'm sorry i'm not comfortable sending one of my kids to the museum with a bunch of strangers Nick, it's fine. I've already signed the consent form, okay? It's all good. But, um... Listen, I think you should have a talk with Charlie. He's having girl trouble. Hey. See this? See that? Hasn't worked since I was seven. Yeah, you're not seven. Mom tells me you're having problems with Andy. I'm good, all right. All right, really. I moved on. That's good. You want to talk about it? No? Honey, Andy's the one who's missing out. Yeah. What's up, Marcus? Right now? Honestly, Chief, I know no details. She came in here looking official, flashed me your credentials, said that you were the only person she wanted to talk to. All right, I'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. Chief Lonahan? Special Agent Cat Russo. The FBI. What can I do for you? I have reason to believe the target of a federal investigation is living in the gates. I hope I can count on your cooperation. Invisibility. 
I N B I S I B I L I T Y. Invisibility. Very good. Now you try one. Don't be silly, sweetheart. Mummy hasn't even had her morning tea yet. But it'll be fun. Think of a word, Dad. Let's dump Mom. Well, what's the point in that? You, my dear, you are the young genius who must learn these words for your spelling bee tomorrow. You're still coming, right? Of course I'm coming. I won't miss it for the world. You have a great day. I love you. Dad, you forgot something. Did I? Mom. Honey, your mom knows exactly what I think of her. You finish your breakfast, madam. The man in this photo is accused of committing financial fraud. Information obtained by the bureau confirms that he owns a home in the gates. Robert Chesson. Doesn't look familiar. Lee? Well, according to our records, Robert Jessup lives alone, travels about 200 days of the year to do his job in pharmaceutical sales, and has never caused any problems. So he's a model low-profile citizen. Who is currently registered as being off property. Great. I want to get in that house. Hold on a second. We're going to do this. We're going to do it right. You go through the proper channels. I have every intention of getting a search warrant. Let me make a call. <laughs> I don't know, Chief. FBI comes call when we cooperate, right? In the meantime, I want you to dig up anything you can on Jessup. To be honest, I have never felt better. My doctor says he thinks after two more chemo treatments, I have an excellent chance of going into remission. That's wonderful news. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Whatever is in this is a lifesaver, literally. I don't know how I'll ever be able to repay you. Just stay positive and beat this thing. That'll be payment enough. Yeah, I plan on it. <laughs> okay, goodbye, Devin, and thanks again. Bye. Did you finish mixing your root remedy? I'm all done, but it smells awful. Then you did it right. Tomorrow, I'll teach you how to grind bone set leaves into a tea that can counteract all kinds of hex-induced illnesses. It's pretty amazing stuff, actually. Sounds fun. So, what did you do for Mrs. DeRoy? I strengthened her immune system using devil's weed. The one my mom said was dangerous. When used incorrectly, yes. But the so-called forbidden herbs can work wonders in people when you know what you're doing. In cancer patients and people with autoimmune diseases, the response has been remarkable. And no, I will not teach you how to use them. But I... I in just... time when you're older. Lucas. 
this up. When are you going to take the pack back? I told you guys I'm not ready. Well, Brett's ruining everything. It's like Andy's part of the pack now, and she's not even one of us. Brett's never going to give up on Andy. It's just how it is. If you have a problem with your love life, fix it yourself. Here's the warrant, Chief. It didn't take very long. I got a strong case. How long did you say you've been tracking this guy? Two years, three months, 13 days. But who's counting? Hello? It's the police! yourself. He's got a full operation here. We find his client list and a lot of people are going to be in trouble. Passports, driver's licenses, even social security numbers. I thought you said this was a uh, financial fraud case. Is there a problem, Chief? No, no problem. Okay, how are we doing? Think you can break the encryption? I will do my best. Nick, there's a problem. I have an FBI agent in my office who just served a warrant on the Robert Jessup residence. Is he one of yours? Yeah, he is. Um, Robert is a key facilitator in the identity transfer and relocation of our kind. What, how much does this agent know? I don't know yet. But she found fake passports and IDs, and there are photos of you and Claire and some of the others. Well, hold on, hold on. We need to talk about this in person, okay? I don't know if that's possible right now. You need something? You seem... distracted. No, I, I, uh... Wife and kids. Distraction is a way of life. Hmm. I wouldn't know. I never got the opportunity. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Yeah. I just hang out with him. 
Though, if I had a punk band, we would have an awesome name. Want to know what it would be? Uh, sure, I, I guess. Hmm, I think you can do better than that. Okay, uh, I absolutely want to know what the name of your punk band would be. Much better. So, tell me what it is. Oh, uh, I can't tell. I hardly know you. Yet. I need more time. You told me you can handle this. Hey, hey. What is going on? This is your computer expert. We're dealing with a rudimentary encryption, and she can't even break it. You know what? Maybe you'd go faster if you got out of my face. Okay. All right. Let's take it down a notch. Look, you want my officer's help? You've got to give her space to do it. Do you understand? She's very capable. Oh, I got something. Jessup has a safety deposit box. Well, I guess you're going to need another warrant. I'm on it. can do this. Remember, keep the flame in your mind's eye, harness its elemental nature, and concentrate. Acacia. I did it. <laughs> Nicely done. Now wait right there and I'll get the bone set leaves. You won't believe what happens next. You just have to trust yourself. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Devin. I mean it. Once you master this, the sky's the limit. Now, watch and learn. Have you heard from Jessup? No, no, not yet. We relayed a message to him, but he hasn't responded, which is not that unusual for him. It can be unpredictable. Especially when threatened, so I think we just need to move forward. Okay. What's in the safe deposit box? Look, once she gets that warrant, I can't stop her. So if you know what's in that box, tell me now. A flash drive containing the old and new identities of every vampire Robert Jessops has worked with. Some, like ourselves, live in the gates, and the rest live in anonymity around the world. There are over 10,000 names on that drive, which is why you need to act quickly and stop that agent from retrieving that list. Ten thousand names? Your man Jessup has put us in a tough spot. I don't disagree. And if it's up to me, you wouldn't be involved in this. But Dylan has convinced me that I need to let you attempt to save this woman's life. You're gonna kill an FBI agent? There are too many people's lives at stake here. If she gets that list before you do, 
if someone out there will make sure that she never gets back to FBI headquarters alive. All right, take this flash drive. It's loaded with phony names and addresses. You switch it with one that Jessup keeps at the bank, and no one should be any wiser. Go ahead. Thanks for coming, Ben. Looks like we have made a mistake. She didn't ever put me in this position. You knew that it was a no-win situation when I first called you. I knew you would want the chance to save a life, okay? In order to save a life, I have to jeopardize everything, Dylan. Well, believe me, I know exactly how you feel. Tell me the name of your band. Make me. Oh, you don't want a piece of me. Right, um, I'm gonna shut up now. This is crazy. Leave me alone. No. I'm not just going to stand by and let this happen to you. Please. Do you even want to know where I've been? Does it matter for why I know you're lying to me? I stopped by the bakery. You can check the receipt if you'd like. You can leave the receipt on the kitchen counter. of this situation better than anyone. And I know that you are hurt, but so am I. And I need your help. I'm your wife. Dylan, look at me. Why? What do you mean, why? You know, what Christian did is he broke the bond between us. So I can't tell you everything is going to be okay when I don't believe it myself. Hello? It's Sarah. Listen, I think Dylan forgot to pick up the girls after school, so I did it. I tried calling, but no one answered. Anyway, Emily's here safe and sound. Thank you, Sarah. Telling me. We forgot. I'll go and get her. I need to take a look at your video surveillance tapes for the past 24 hours. Can you give me a minute? I need to turn the system off and change out the hard drives. Sure. Take your time. Be right back.
Chief Monahan, you're under arrest. Step aside. Tell me who you're working for. Is it Jessup? Are you in contact with him? I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I read your file. I know what happened in Chicago. Is someone in the gates blackmailing you? If you're going to arrest me, arrest me. You're making a big mistake. I have nothing more to say to you. Okay. Well, I have what I want. So I'm going to let this go. But take my advice. Whatever it is you're caught up in, take your family and get out. Marcus, I want you to get me as much information. I've already given you everything I know on Jessup. Not Jessup. Listen to me. I want you to get me as much information on Russo as you can. You understand? Okay. Okay. Lee. Lee. Let her go. I can't. What is going on? My name is on that flash drive. Excessive chemistry. The name of your band? Nope. Not even close. <laughs> Rapid stain removal. Okay, that's even more pathetic. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. Oh, I thought maybe I'd scared you away. No, not at all. You're different. I mean, like, you make everything seem easy. Hmm. No drama. I like that about you. Well, that's easier said than done. Why's that? Come on, Charlie. I want to show you something. You switched the flash drives? I did. Why is your name on that list, Lee? It's not what you think. I know what you know about this place. But I'm not one of them. Why would you some help you? I needed a place to start over. I had a boyfriend who ripped my heart out. Chief, um, I'm sorry to interrupt. I've got something you need to see. You're not going to believe this. Kat Russo and Robert Jessup were engaged. She played us. Get to the hotel, keep eyes on her. Okay, go. Yeah. Lee. Sir. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Call the FBI. Get everything you can on her. Okay. All right. It looks so much better. <laughs> For now. No. Andy, stop it. <sighs> Mia. Kissing Brett only works because I won't hurt him. But the problem is, it still hurts me. Right here. I can't. I can't do it. You know, I can't pretend like I feel something for him that I don't. Maybe there's another option. Not for me. Your mom's medicine made me way too sick, and I stopped taking it weeks ago. What am I gonna do? Look, I, I brought you something. What is it? It's devil's weed. And I've seen it do miracles in people sicker than you. Devin uses it with cancer patients to help build up their immune system. It can even keep your body from turning on itself. You really think this stuff's gonna work? I do. Okay.
telling me you were engaged. She'll listen to me. I know what I'm doing. It's not your call, Dylan. Stay out of it. You. Cat. Please, we can work this out. You turned me into this. I saved your life because I loved you. You still don't get it, do you? I'm gonna kill you for what you did to me. And then I'm gonna kill everyone else on this list of yours. Tell me, what's wrong with the flash drive? It's not mine. place existed not a lot of people come here anymore originally cemeteries were built as places for the living not just the dead families picnicked and spent time here remembering the people they loved there's only one date charlotte was my twin she died the day we were born I'm sorry. My parents stopped visiting her a long time ago, so I come here as much as I can to keep her company. It was nice to meet you, Charlotte. Hello? Hi, uh, Mrs. Monaghan, it's Andy Bates. Uh, is Charlie home? Um, no, Andy, but I expect him soon. Can I, can I take a message? Uh, no, uh, no message. Thanks. Bye. Today was great. Hmm. I've, um... I've never taken anyone there before. We should hang out again. I like that. <laughs> but only if you tell me the name of your band. Okay. Here's a hint. It's called experimental necking. I like it. I knew you would. <laughs> yes, R-U-S-S-O, that is how you spell it, I'm sure. You're certain? Okay. Okay, thank you. FBI says Cat Russo's been dead for two years. Really? You 
He'd be dead already if I wanted it. Lee. Now give me the real flash drive. I can't do that. Don't let them control you. No one should suffer what I've suffered at the hands of their kind. Their kind? What does that make you? A bad judge of men. When I told Robert Jessup I would marry him, I had no idea what he really was. What does that mean? I was shot in the line of duty. I should have died, but Robert took it upon himself to save me. Chief? It's okay, Lee. He did it anyway. And now he's dead. The sooner the rest of this list is exterminated, the better for everyone. You can't punish them all for what he did. She's right. They're not all monsters. I thought you were under the thumb of these vampires. But it's worse. You actually choose to help them. I can't protect you. I don't need your help. We should take her a plate of food. I already tried. She's not hungry. So is this how it's going to be from now on between us? I don't know. I'm sorry about what happened to you. But it doesn't change the fact that you betrayed me. And not only that, but the repercussions of your tryst with Christian, it broke the very essence of what binds us together. We can fix that. Can't we? Yes. Do you honestly think that will solve what's wrong between us? I love you. But with everything that's happened, I... Um, I think it's probably best that we have some time apart. Should we tell Emily? Em? Daddy and I have come to talk to you. Em? Pumpkin. This is gonna be fun.